We're a family, yes? Good job. If we go right, you go left, we all bump into each other, it doesn't matter. Say hey neighbor, I love you anyways. Alright, are you ready to Zumba? Alright, excellent. Vamanos, DJ, intro. I found my freedom. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, when I think about it, like, you know, uh, where I was before, like, I love what I did before too, because uh, people really don't know my background at all. Um, other than being a fitness instructor now, I'm a specialized educator. And it was, uh, it was quite the challenge because you weren't working with well uh, elderly, you worked with, you know, Alzheimer's patients, schizophrenic, uh, dementia, uh, people who are wheelchair bound. And doing what I did was, you know, as a special educator working in the recreation department was pretty much animating, doing classes, exercise classes with them. And, um, I loved it. I did it for 13 years, but I all realized too that my life changed when the kids came around and then uh, patience was no longer there, but then I had to find the patience because you were becoming a mom. So, um, and then, I don't know, I think it, I hit a bottom where I said, I don't want to do it anymore and do something new. And then fitness just came. I don't know, I think I opened the next chapter and it wasn't no longer about Mary being a specialized educator. It was about finding her calling. sitting in my uh, living room and I came across a magazine and I can't remember exactly which magazine, it must have been a fitness since I'm in the fitness field and Zumba just popped out and I read about it and it was all about a dance fitness class, Latin rhythms and everything so I was like wow this is totally in my field since I've taken some Latin dancing um, so I said okay I gotta get to New York, how do I do that, I'm just freshly new as an instructor like not making that much money and I'm like I'm gonna do this. So I decided I'd take the bus, which is the cheapest way to get to, uh, to New York. Uh, taking the bus at night. And I was in a bus that was packed, the last one on to get, to get on. And the last seat on the bus, I'm like, it was a sign that I was meant to get on that 11.30 bus because I had to be there for seven. Uh, and pretty much I, it started off from like, you know, headed to New York, bring back to Montreal, and it just boomed from being low key to Zumba being really big. And then I guess people saying, okay, I love your classes, Mary, you're really good. And I take it as I love what I do and I give my all. And my secret to this is like, you come to class and you give me your energy, I'll give you back mine. And we go back and forth, you know, we bounce. And uh, that's what makes our, like I think, our makes my classes and our classes, because you know, it's a team clients and the instructor together make them successful. I will keep on doing this because you know what, this is my, uh, my uh, sanity little bubble that I love to do, like I step out of everything that's happening in my crazy day and I come and I teach and I'm super happy. Like, you know, I can leave everything aside and just come in and, and just put the music on and just take it from there. The balance between the two is that, again, it's a support in the family, the kids, I love my family. My, I, I do get stressed out and, you know, people don't see me and then how do I keep my energy? My energy is at the moment that I open the door at the studio and I walk in, I just kind of distinguish, even if I had a bad day, or depending what, you know, rest, stressful because kids, school, whatever, I walk in, I say, well, I have to just, you know, separate myself from home now, I'm in a studio and I need to give a good class, so I need to find that energy, and my energy is honestly, my music goes on and I just go into this bubble in another world, so that's why I pay a lot of attention to my music. If it makes me uh, want to get up and dance, it's gonna be in my class, it's gonna be part of my routine. My clients is another thing. I, I tell people the secret to my classes is basically if you come to class and you have a smile, just that smile gives me that, that extra energy, if, even if I feel at the point that I can. Because it does you come to a point where you're teaching and you're doing double classes and you feel like you can give your all. Um, 
sometimes I just focus on that one person in class or that big smile or that like, like I don't know, that sparkle in their eye because I have clients that come to class and they are smiling from the moment they walk in to the moment when they walk out and that's my secret and um, pretty much that's how I balance it, you know, being a mom, being the, you know, fitness career woman and, uh, and uh, like I said, it's family, the, the support that I have is from, you know, a great husband that I have and the kids are fantastic, they're also at an easy age where they're also proud of mom too, you know. You see them gal there? Hey, which one? Feel like what? They got the whole of them. Yeah. But hear them. Figure. Yo. I'm going to find them and skin them out and give them pure armor. Armor. Just hold a gal and grab a ring. And give her the armor. And I'll open your leg, make me push it in. From night to the morning. Just kick in the tongues and stammering. When you're under the dog of rain. Why for me? Why for me? Why for me? Ladies from a line for me. Let me see you whine for me, grind fast, whine slow, tick tock on time for me. When they see me part the code, girl, prepare for the dagger in, take out this test, let me ready for the hammering. Whine for me, whine for me, girl, I the way how you move, really change. Honestly, how did it? I don't know if I'm The girls <laughs> yesterday after class said to me, um, oh, let's go eat something. And I'm like, oh, guys, I have, uh, I have class tomorrow. I'm getting tired, this and that. And they will well, help you clean. So I had girls doing the bathroom, girls doing, I'm telling you, I have like the best clients. So then after that, we're just talking. And I go, uh, oh, tomorrow I go, uh, uh, Maria's coming to do some filming and this and that for the interview. And they're like, well, you can't take off your makeup. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I can't go to bed with my makeup. I go, that's it. My pillow's going to be disgusting, right? No joke, Maria. I swear to God, I slept. And I even with my hair. I didn't even, I, I looked like a mess. I was angry. You know, I just left it. I just touched it up.